Hello everybody, today we are going to work on the nose. Um, yesterday I worked with the eye and we went over these things here. If you don't know this information, um, please take a moment, pause the video and write this down, okay? And take a couple of notes from this video so that you can um, remember them as you're working. All right, so for the nose, hopefully, you all have um, worked with the nose in value. So you know how to draw the nose. This shouldn't be something. Super new to you. If it is, go back and review my videos on how to draw the nose. Where the parts of the nose are and what happens. So basically we have the ball of the nose sort of come down here. All right, we have these, the nostrils here. And you wanna make sure you have enough room here. We're gonna go through how to shade using color. So I'm gonna to start today, um, I'm gonna use green and red for this one. So I'm gonna shade the nose, not going to the edge here. The edge of your nose has what's called reflected light. And I'm gonna come to the ball of the nose here and give it some value. Now, if you're looking at a colored photograph, you know, the lights, depending on where the light is and what's happening, these areas could change. But I'm just gonna do a basic. So I'm using a cool color. As if you were using your pencil I'm not going in this direction. I'm going in a little bit of a sideways direction like this. When you're shading the face, you always wanna shade the face as if a string were coming up and around the face. Where that string would follow the contour. Right here where the nostril of your nose meets the bridge of your nose, you have this little area and you can feel it with your hands. You can where these two areas meet. This area is very different from person to person. Some have more of an area than others. So I'm just gonna give the bridge a little bit of shading there and then give this person a little ball at the end of her nose. Everybody's noses have different things about their features. All right, so you wanna look at what parts of this nose are going to be lighter in value? What parts are going to be lighter? And what parts are going to be darker? So for me, the lightest parts are gonna be here, here, and there's two spots here and here. I may have made that a little too dark. We'll have to see. We have the light. And then I'm gonna cast a shadow. So here's the, where that nostril. All right, and again, I'm gonna make it a little bit darker, but not a whole, whole lot. I'm still not burnishing. It looks like I'm pressing because of the way that I'm holding this, but I'm still not burnishing. What's going on here? All right, now the inside is darker, so I'm gonna just go ahead and establish that. The nostril gets darker as it goes back and it gets lighter as it comes forward. I'm gonna give this a little bit of a core shadow right here and a little bit of reflected light right there. All right, so here's what's going on. We have a core shadow over here. We have a core shadow here, here, and here. I'm gonna darken it just a little bit. At no point am I burnishing, okay? You're gonna do the same thing you did with the eye. The complement of green is red. So I'm gonna put the complement over top of this area 
to neutralize it. So while it looks like I'm moving fast, I'm being very, very selective of how hard I'm pressing with this color pencil, especially because red and green can get really dark. It can be pretty, pretty extreme. I'm skipping that reflected light. I'm not going to that reflected light. Saving that light spot. All right, up until now, I've not done anything to the lighter areas of the nose. All right, so once you put your cool color down and then you put your complement over top of it, you go ahead and grab, I'm gonna grab a peach this time. I already feel like there's a lot of reds in there, so I feel like pink will make it really red. I don't want my skin to look too red. So I'm grabbing peach this time. See how red it can be? And I go to the lighter areas. Still leaving some of these spots white so that you don't lose those values. Now I'm looking at this and I'm like, well, I feel as though it could be a little more golden. Like I want a little bit more yellow or I just, I want to warm it up. It just feels like it's got too much, it's too cool. So I'm going to warm it up with this yellow and see what happens. I'm liking that better. Just going over the whole thing. Oh, I missed a skin tone, I can tell. Right here. Don't want that green taking over there. I may have put too much green. You really want to start light. You can always add more. Forgot to add the compliment here. Notice I'm still working in the dark areas. I'm really not going in and putting anything. I almost put too much there. You might want to erase that, but that's basically how you work the nose. Um, I want you to practice that three ways as well. A blue, an orange combination. This is um, a red and green combination. And you also need a purple and a yellow combination. My goal is for you to get these different combinations and experiment with the pencil for the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. So the next video is going to be the mouth.